Welcome to the Rome campaign for Davidius Impera 1.2.5. In the last part, we continued our war against Egypt. We've took, taken Memphis, and the plan is to push down this way to take um, Diopolis. I want to check to see that there's no Egyptian armies hanging around here. Now, we do have a little bit of a problem in here that we've got an Armenian army that's come in here. Wow, they've got a lot of cav. That could be fun. So what is going to be the best way to defend this? We've got artillery here, which we could destroy them. We've got this army here, which you can get to here. And then we've got this army here that can move south. I think what we're going to do is bring this army south. They can do the main attack. And this is one of my family generals, actually. And then what we're going to do is move you over here. And how far can you move? You can only move to about there, actually. We're going to drop you. Oops. A bit too far. I'm going to bring you back to about there. We're going to leave this army here. And then we'll see if these guys do anything that's going to cause any problems. Um, this area here is now settling down. We've got the, most of this territory built. Up in the north here, we are very much focused on kind of stabilizing the area that we've conquered here. I think up here. Yeah, we've got... We need to do some work here. We can get the fishing boats in here and some food, I think. Actually, no, we've got food here. I think what we're going to do is put in that so we can get this area as solid and stable as possible. Now, we do have pirates hanging around here. So what I'm going to do is bring my fleet round to about here. Because what I, what I don't want to do is move this army across the water without the protection of the fleets. We've got this army here, which in some ways is a little bit redundant now because we've pushed the Nervi a long way away. So I could move this army, but at the same time, at the moment, the next turn is going to be winter, so we're not going to be able to do much there. And the same with here. But I think I'm going to be quite prepared to work. We've got a Nervi army here. How big are you? You're 16. We could give these guys a little bit of a bashing, but I don't think we're going to get across the water that easily, are we? I mean, I don't know how far. He can move to there. I think what we're going to do is move this army down to about here for the moment. Just in case he tries to slip past us. He can't move through this area, but he may try and get across here. And what I really want to do is take this and liberate it. Now, one thing I am going to do... Now, I don't normally like doing this, but... Where, is it? where are you? But I really need this agent or an agent down here. So we're going to get rid of that agent and then come down here and recruit a new agent here. I mean, it's it was just going to take too long to get that agent down into position. So we're just going to recruit. Actually, the, let's just make sure I've got all the other agents. I'm sure, pretty sure I have got them. Yeah. Seven governors. Wow. Right, we've got a spare slot here. And this is in Memphis. I mean, we've got a special industrialized farms here. Which I, six food, public order grain, 250, 500. I mean, the food, we got food there. So, But again, my instinct is to put that in but we're going to have two more settlements so I think for the moment we'll take advantage of the industrialized farms there um, so we've got you checking this out here of course down here we've got Nabatia so we're going to need to put a garrison in there and I don't think there's much else I can do in this turn we've got this army here which I would like to move a little bit closer over here, I think. 
So that, just in case these idiots here We've got the Epirate League transports. You're not planning on attacking me, are you? We got the got these Macrimony elders here. I think what we're going to do is just drop you into port first. Because there is part of me that would like to bridge over to here. And, I mean, do you have any friends? Yes, you're actually friends with the Dorsai usurpers. They're military allies. They're also at war with Saba and Egypt, quite unusually. Um, Saba. I was actually at war with us. I'm not sure. Do that. not wander in like a desert beggar. Oh, they've only got one satrapy. And they're actually allies with Athens. That could be useful. We could possibly turn that to our advantage, though Athens is a little bit of a long way away. So I don't really want to waste time with Saba. But we might be able to do a deal to get into a war here with these guys but I want to really focus on Egypt just at the moment I think that's about it for what we can do let me just just double check that I've done all the necessary up here I mean this area is negative but oh well get that up straight away hmm. we hunger for battle. Can you stand there that gets this positive At your command. really need to move this army south which I think I will I think we can hold the line here especially if I put you in patrol that's given us a, a I can start with that army south I don't want to put this army in the water yet because I don't know where those pirates have gone to I mean I could send this it is an honor to Navy out you're just for a look see at the moment the oars, you men. there they are Docking. now I don't want to fight these guys with one navy, I'd rather hit them with two navies because these can be quite strong in their own way and they can cause a problem anyway I think that's about all we can do for this turn I'm not going to go through all the the buildings in fact what I will show you this, I think this is a, a fairly broken element of the, of the game you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six seven children <laughs> born in one turn and um, so we've got those joined there let's have a quick look at the construction report uh, um we've got developed land in lpqy let's have a quick look at that and um, that's going to give me minus six public order i think we can live with that uh, basilica of jupiter in corallus um, so they've got lots of stuff there. We've got field agents in Paratron. I don't think we need to do anything else with that. I'm not sure. There it is there. Yeah, we can't go up any further anyway. We've got uh, a library up here. So we can... um, and we've got plenty of food, so we can probably shoot that up. And I think that can wait. I'm, I mean, I'm making 225,000 a turn. I don't think I really need to worry too much about that. I think I've done the sacred growth here, haven't I? In, um, I won't that. Yep, yeah, I've done that, done that. Don't really want to do that for the moment because there's not really anything there. Yeah, unhappy populace in Egypt, Egypt is unhappy populace in Britannia. So we're just going to go for an intern. Oh, we got some skills for. So going to. Um, you're a governor. 
Yeah, we're certainly going to pop the Empire Maintenance there to try and make a bit more cash. Okay, it looks like we've got a combination battle here against this Macrimony Elders. We've got these guys that want to leave the force. I think we can fight this just for the sheer fun of it. So we can let these guys take a lot of their the casualties and then we can swing in behind and do the, do the damage. Because technically we're the reinforcing army. Uh, Navy, sorry. Okay, we're over here. And we're coming in. The they are maybe get on to the Our battle reinforcements have arrived. we are the reinforcements game i'm just going to make sure our admiral stays out of trouble um the enemy yeah. is attacking our ally um so Get our, our ships into position. And now we're going to bring these over. And uh, we'll just gather up you. Yeah. You can come now. You can come now. And actually. An entire unit has perished. Yep. And let's. Get these guys here. And you can split that way. An entire unit has perished. An entire unit has perished. Right. Don't get these guys. An entire unit has perished. Yeah, the AI is not particularly that good at. Um, An entire unit has perished. Okay. Um, An entire unit has perished. Our ally has been destroyed. Ah, there's one on one now. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. You come here. One of you. our units has used all its ammunition. One of our ships is being boarded. Hey, stop chasing. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, let's push through. It's, it's very nice of the uh, our ally. Entire unit has perished. Okay. You come that way. You push there. The men are wavering. You get in there. He's in. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shame. Right, we should be able to get a ramming position on them. The enemy general is dead. Push on them. Push on them. Got them under control. You can get in there. One of our units has used Actually, all its ammunition. You break that way. You chase those. You come into here. You 
Where are you going? You focus fire on those, they're running away. So we've got one there, we've got one out here. Like they're both running, so you keep following. <laughs> right, let's just spray spread them out a little bit. So one can... of our units has used all its ammunition. You you come that way. keep chasing give you a bit of a boost <laughs> it's quite funny that we're actually sliding down the side of the map here uh, we're gonna get them at high speed they're right in the corner now so they can't go anywhere they're actually sliding up the side of the map but we should be able to oh that's not a very good view I might um, just gonna bring the rest of the fleet over Actually, I think we'll just change the boarding, I think. I mean, we got 105 against 60. Actually, okay, blow out. You run this way. And we're all going to charge in. I'm a bit of a mess ram. I don't know if this will actually work, but I can't get them. Okay. Okay. That's annoying. You on the battle line here. So we'll just get the artillery up in position. It'll take them a little while to get over here. Maybe if I go in with just one ship. You come over here. And you come in at an angle like that where you'll be able to get them. Oh, come on. Gotcha. It's good to have artillery. So it looks like we lost one, one, two, three. Oh, God, we lost four ships, five ships. Wow. That could have been, that is an expensive battle. Especially as I don't really have the naval recruitment up here. But we've got rid of the pirates. And we did better than the uh, Allies fleet, if nothing else. And down they go. Yeah, we lost five ships. Uh, I probably would have thrown away the garrison navy better. Well... 
an admiral will increase in rank. Need for cavalry or go for horsemen, doesn't really matter. Missing taxes in Skillia, but it doesn't really make a difference. And we got another child for this board. When the sun comes of age, we've got some naval traditions. Increase in rank, governor. Thank you. Construction report. Right, we've got uh, an aqueduct down here. I'm going to go for that. Get these built. Oh, an aqueduct in Alexandria. Okay, we got. We certainly want that, and we want. Gonna go um it's trying a Jupiter or I think what I need is maximum conversion here. We've got so if we go for it's gonna give us plus four. I think we can go with that. Food wise um, I think it's appropriate to have a, a, a fully leveled up library. In Alexandria, because it was the center there, I almost certainly put that in maximum public order. And what we should be able to do is be in range. No, we're not in range. Oh, go away. Okay, we're just gonna have to push down here, and you can push around there. But the Armenian, we've got an Egyptian army here. Oh, this is the reason why I wanted to get this agent down here. So we can see what really makes up these armies. Wow. I mean, that looks a very weak army, but with all that cavalry, what we would really need to do is fight inside of a settlement there. Let's have a quick look at that. I mean, it'd be great to trap that army inside of a port. I mean, I'm very tempted. Can't reach so the trouble is we got this by the two lands that's an enemy fleet how big are you you're 16 you could go out and whack that fleet i'm not sure about that let's just check my fleet up here just lost five units uh, we got our admiral here i think you can just keep give you some Military traditions, what we got here, minus bonus to diploma, diplomacy with all factions. Yeah, I think we're a little bit past uh, people there. Public order morale for all units, wealth and culture, local province. And that actually gives us intellectual. But you're fairly highly developed, so I think we're just going to give you that. And we've got traditions. Increase missile range for all units. Uh -oh. I think we'll go with that to give us the ramp against blockading fleets. Oops, made a bit of a mistake there, never mind. Now, recruitment. See, we only got beer reams here. I don't really want, I'd rather to get this. But then again, this is only a, an operational fleet. How big and powerful is this fleet? Hmm. Hmm. Where's my other fleets? We've got a fleet here. Is, wow, yeah, that's a lot more elite than this one. So, what we're going to do is bring, start bringing this fleet back, and we're just going to keep this fleet here for the moment. We've got this, these two fleets here that can. They're actually taking attrition. Hmm. A bit annoying that that actually I'm just going to push you up in that way a little bit. So, this is what I would like is for well, if we get an army there, then I won't be able to go there because we're going to need to make sure that no one actually comes through from there. So, we may have to punch through here with the two armies. But the problem is, is Alexandria, I don't know, it's it's getting there. And we can get level three hulls here. Kind of part of me says go for that. And I think we're going to go the full bog here. And go to tier four as well. And I think we will livestock or grain. I think we'll go grain 
so that we can get the food for the, uh, the upgrade after that. And now the other thing I want to do here is we've got that these guys have gone over here to do a bit of raiding which means they're now out of range of my army so how, how far out into the water can you get you can't great okay. can you get into the water you come down here in the bend and you come up in support as well I don't want anyone getting any big ideas of taking this army out um, I've lost that oh, it looks like the Nervi have pulled back here okay so we may have to punch in here and teach these the error of their ways how many, how many units have you got you got 19 Right. Um, we go for the gymnasium there. We're gonna go here. Food or wealth? Okay, my instinct is food. So I think we'll go that way. What have we got here? Well, supplies plus seven and a bit more food in return for public order I think we're just going to sit on that for the moment now I'm going to have to tr once this area is nice and stable right, so I'm inclined to send this army up to there I mean it's a bit of a, a scratch built army so I think what we'll do is we'll recruit a couple more units into this army and we've got some cab I don't want my elite units. We'll, we'll get some, got some Gallic swordsmen. I think we'll get. Yeah, I think we'll go to a full, full, full gas army um, legion here. But this army can then cross back over. Who's actually in charge of it? Oh, you're actually a family general. So maybe we'll just have to leave one of these up here. You're, you're a little bit. Uh, I certainly would like you to come back. So I think you've got the job of Commander. staying in Britannia until it's fully stable. Certainly want this army uh, moving south. But I think you, you can just orders. inch forward a little bit got our army in the water there and you're you're my siege army if I'm a correct thing yeah. yep so I want you to come across mm, the idea is is uh, let's just talk s tactics so we've now got Britannia what I would like to do is either wipe out the Novi or push them back so that they're no longer a force to deal with and then that will give me the borderline here and then uh, we're going to move our attention to uh, the Greece here because that's our next target and of course what I want to do is consolidate here I would like to hold this border here because I don't want to really go south unless I have to because that when you go down here you can get an attack from here and I don't really want to get tangled up in there because the idea now is to push Egypt out of this area up towards this and then the idea of then would be to push through here push up through there and then we would effectively take this area then of course what we will need to do then is push out this way to get the final settlement cover where it is let's have a quick look victory conditions so we need to get to about there which isn't that far over Hydrazan which is up in Armenia I mean we could move down a little bit towards Sharax but I think that's about it what I'm going to do is just have a quick run through see see if there's anything that really needs building um, Cynthia 
I mean, I'm not expecting to really need to build anything here. We can build the Parthenon in Slingdom, but I'm not really. Well, we can build the Parthenon everywhere, actually. But really and truthfully, I should be building the Parthenon in Rome, which is what I want to do eventually. Britannia's okay, Hispania, Biatica. Um, wow. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, I mean, I can't really see to the point of spending too much time building all this up. Because we've got Latinum here. Anyway, let's go for an intern. But, so we've got Marcus, wherever you are here. And. I think you can just go with Empire Maintenance. In fact, this what we got here. Uh, public order. Probably not going to be around that much longer, so I do that. That will just pushes my Empire Maintenance up higher and higher. So we're just going to go for an intern. Okay, hidden agent exposed. Hidden agent exposed. Child has died. Kill some of all those children that were born. And we finally completed the tier three siege attrition because it's been winter. Also comes of age. Wow. Increase in rank governor. We got Lemuria. We got plus four cult cult. La we got plus four Latin cultural influence all regions. That could be useful. Quick look at the construction report. Yeah, we got. Uh, I want to have a quick look at new bits. This. Now, in theory, that should go to a level five, even in the minor settlement here. Well, we're just going to give that a bit of a punch up there. And of course, I've got my army here. Now, if they need this. Put the navy here and I'll put you in there to so you don't take attrition. Wow, this guy is really big. I'm kind of half tempted to retire him, and we're going to keep this navy in support. I just don't want the macromons get there. Now I've got this army. Well, I want to risk getting him across the water. Uh, yeah, we're going to go for it. I mean, they will probably take a little bit of attrition on the way over. But reinforcement. Still says they're on force mar markets at the moment, so we might get away with that. Of course, we, we've now completed this technology. And just for any a quick update. We've completed all the technology there. We've completed that. So we're effectively reduced now to doing this technology. Must be my, my upkeep. Uh, I think we'll go this way first. So I've got a feeling we're going to completely run out of technology before this campaign is actually finished. All right now we've got these coming up here and I'm pretty sure they're, they're actually planning on attacking here. So, part of me says, we hunger for battle. which one? Which point. one's the artillery army? You have the artillery army. I think we're going to move. So we're in the new campaign season. So, I move you up to here. And you can fortify. And what we're going to do is move this army up to here. Who's this? Well, the Frigi Confederation is going for them as well. So, of course, there are friends and allies. I think you can just stay there for the moment. And the idea is, is to come at Tafernum from two sides. Yeah, you should be a knight commander. And of course, what we got down here is a, a slightly interesting situation. Is we've got this fortified cav army here. 
Um, my instinct is to come at these guys with all the artillery because all that cab inside of the fort will be fairly useless. But I mean, we could come out. Well, as we attack with two armies, then then they they will probably run away, and I, I don't want that. But that might be for the next part because we've also got these idiots up here. So in order to release that artillery army to take out these, we would have to kind of take out that navy there. But I think just to finish this part off, we're going to do the honours here. And you can see this is an easy battle, so we're just going to do this. Actually, enemy sallies out to fight on the battlefield. Well, you are dead. You have no cavalry. Not that I've got that much cavalry, actually. But we've got missiles. We got missiles. Well, we got superiority across the board. Uh, nice and dry. Back. I'll put you there. You can go on that side. And I'm just going to. Um, so they've got no cab, so. We're be able to. You can come out on this side. And you can come on that side. And general. Out that way. And just going to. Start to advance the armies forward. Move the cab forward to do reconnaissance. General, you can stay fairly close behind the front line. And we're just going to. Right, there they are. Legionary cavalry. I was just going to do this and look. Get the front line. Okay, there. They've decided to come at us. That's fine. Oops. Okay, if only just move forward a little bit. Um, I think what we're going to do is just advance in the front line forward. Um, keep uh, moving the general slightly to the left. And so they've got no cav, so we can use the these archers with the cav in support. Just put you on skirmish mode, actually. Praetorian cavalry. You do the same for you. I've got a really large amount of and game. Just gonna and game. Just gonna move forward. General out on the flank, archers, cab, right. you just keep marching. Get, I think we'll get a really nice angle here. Right, we're just gonna One of our units is use our javelins. Right, we're gonna push in on the front here. 
Yeah, the flanking forces. Cavalry. And yeah, the secondary flanking force. Probably not going to need you. You pull back, or you. Right, you drop onto those. Cav, I want you to drive off those. Wait, where are you going? Pull you legionary cavalry back. Right, time to get the rear view. The battle is turning in our favor. Yep. Right, you can go on to the native militia. You pull back. Go away. You warm up here. This is a garrison, so in in you go. Right, their general's collapsing. That's it, end battle. Nice straightforward battle. We lost 112. Two to friendly fire. And down they go. And some elephants there. Look at that. That's cool. Of course, we're going to occupy it. There's a mine on the hill there. And it looks like we got some form of stadium there. That's pretty cool. Now, kind of inclined there, but I'm going to knock that down. Because what I want to do is put a barracks in here. Because the last thing I want is these Yozos coming through here. Um, I think I want to have a look see down this way. So the. We come down here just to see what type of forces Sabata have got down here. Uh, I don't think we're going to be pushing on them just yet, although we could shoot across here, but I wouldn't want to leave this area exposed to rebels. Now we've got the problem of what to do with these. I've got my navy that was moving over here. I want you to get all the way back to here. And I think we can now push this navy up to here. And we've still got two navies operating here. I mean, you're a bit far away, actually. Cause you, you can't actually quite reach that navy, so we'd have to use this one to take down here. And we can't actually see what's in that navy, but I doubt it's going to be particularly that strong. Right, what we should be able to do now is recruit some really good units here, 105. Yep. I think we're just going to spam out for another one as well. That brings this army up to full strength with the, the actual quintrings. In fact, I'd be tempted to replace the whole navy with Quintrims, but uh, you never know. So that's done. Um, yeah, we've moved this navy here. This navy's getting back home. And I'm going to have to go all through all these uh, uh, provinces off camera. I mean, has anything else happened? 
Quartermasters, trade, troubled waters, household expands. Uh, soothsayer, he's a captain. And he's the La family statuettes. In the camp, newly captured region, bonus. Okay. Acquired region, suffered from capital captured. I think we're really doing quite a lot of damage to Egypt now. And I think just to finish this part off, let's have a quick look at the political situation. Politics. 7400 before 75, yes. Um, I don't think you'll probably get anything there. Hates barbarians, so we've got minus 10 due to barbarians. Likes Greek. When this mogul kicks in, when he dies and that he becomes the successor. Actually, yeah, that's what I think I was actually doing, was it? Still can't adopt anyone. That's annoying. I was hoping to adopt, who is it? Uh, Marcus Junius Brutus into the family, but we can't obviously do that. Let's have a quick look. You you need to go and do something, so we can go and talk to our good friends, the Adriae. And you're level five. Any of you, you're not married yet, but you've not done anything. We're going to need to get some of these into. Right, you can get married. That will bring another wife into the marriage arranged. And that means you can start developing, so we're just gonna send you send you to the boss forum kingdom. So we're definitely gonna have to start developing you. And how about you? Yeah, you're in Rome. You're in Rome. You're in Rome. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to start developing some of these uh, new generals because all these guys are going. You're four. No, no, you're only four. Yes, you're sixty-two. You're fifty-five. A lot of female characters here. And there seems to be a lot more female characters than males, actually. So let's have a quick look through. I suppose they are all members of the family. Well, you're not, so. Marry you to get another new member of the family in. That's a, a free general that we can do something with. So, and you're 22, that's good. And. You here. So, yeah, wow, this family just gets bigger and bigger. And that's where that doesn't even include the list down the side here. And I mean, uh, I've got a new wife here, so, or, so you can go to the Frisian Confederation. And I suppose we could, any, any, anywhere that we've got, actually, no. Cancel that. That cancel. Okay, back again. Send emissary on the province to help with their basic foods and necessities. Um, what we got here? Organized games. I mean, hopefully, we'll install some order. I think we can go there, and I think we can maybe send you to Britannia and see if you will that will improve the situation a little bit wow just go to Britannia and see how that's functioning okay. military presence events yeah so we're getting a plus 20 so hopefully that will start to pull this province round no point worrying too much about Egypt at the moment because until everything settles down that's going to be there so I think this is where I'm going to leave it in the next part we'll have a crack at this navy maybe and then use this army to go against this Armenian army here with all this camp it could be interesting seeing they're fortified but that's going to be for the next part so until next time 
whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.